you're welcome. The first question that I want to ask you is about facing our fears. How much have you learned to do so um, portraying, you know, Naru in this sense? Yeah, I mean, tremendously. I feel like both that was kind of a parallel of shooting the movie that was also obviously a huge joy point in the movie. Um, you clearly watch the character do it in different ways throughout the film, but you know, even just on the like very literal scale of like, there were days that I was going to work that like the thing we had to do that day was very scary. <laughs> you know, like going in the river, we shot the river sequence for a week. Um, and then we went to the studio and shot, you know, the rest of like the bear and the beaver dam stuff, like outside in the studio, but especially like being in the river, you know, that it was like glacial runoff water from the mountains of Canada. <laughs> and we were like, down a hill that you had to hike down, get in a boat, go across the river, keep hiking. And, you know, it was like running down the cliff and just like getting like swimming in a live river is like a scary idea. Cause like I grew up around like extreme sports, my dad and my older brothers like all do extreme sports. And so like going river surfing with my parents was always very aware of like how dangerous that is. So then to do it, was like actually very it was exciting but it was also very scary so even just on the literal scale of that or something bigger you know like some of the concepts of like representation or the responsibility like that was definitely i feel like something that was faced every day throughout the filming of this movie you know stand up for the people that you love how much is important that in the movie it's like a woman to do so you know to protect the people that she loves yeah, it's so I, refreshing, I think. I thank right. you. I mean, I agree. I think that, you know, I'm very thankful to Dan and 20th Century that they chose to make this movie and chose her to be the hero. Um, I think that, yeah, having a, a woman be that role is, you know, I think that you're afforded a lot of different things and a lot of, you know, different colors that you can use. Um, that you don't often get to see, you know, and and you so, you know, often see like, oh, a, a male protector and this, and, and those stories are wonderful, but I think also there is definitely a space with a whole different variety when you have it be a woman, and especially when you make it an indigenous woman and you look at our societies and how, you know, the structure of everything was or kind of the way that we approach things like community and family, um, that that really brings in like a whole extra color palette to the story and the character capabilities.